So for today, we're going to be updating the tier list for the raid armor. If you guys don't know, we already updated the dungeon armor. It's right here. You guys can check it out. A lot of fun making that video because I know I'm just going to piss a lot of people off and this video is going to be no different. This one, we will also be looking at the individual classes of it. So expect these tier list videos to be a lot longer than usual because again, I want to give each class their own tier list because it's not fair to like rate a certain armor set when I think the hunters is terrible, but the warlocks is the best because then i would have to like go in the medium of like if it's an s if this is an s and this is a c then where would it be like probably a b and i feel like that's unfair so that's why we're going to be doing it individually so that way each class gets their own then they they can judge me for <laughs> they can judge me harsher basically so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content i would very much appreciate that because not a lot of people will do that so other than that let's just get into it so to start off here is the old tier list and i agree and disagree with uh, some of these i definitely think the s tiers are gonna change the i all of it's gonna change i'm gonna be quite honest with you guys because there's some pieces for all the classes that i'm like man this is an s tier easily so let's just get in, let's just get into it because i feel like it's gonna get rough for a lot of people so i have it in order um first and foremost for the I don't even remember what raid this one was, but for the first one, Leviathan, there we go. Leviathan, Hunters, I'm going to put it at B. I like a lot of the pieces, but I can't really combine it with other pieces because it just has such a distinct look. That being said, I've seen people do some cool things with it. I've done some cool things with it, but it's just one of those like it has it has a Destiny 2 vanilla armor set taste to it, which is like the best thing I can really say about this. And then we get to this armor um so let me do this real quick because this is how i had it for the last one and then this is this one we'll put it c because i feel like this is where these two are gonna go they're the same armor set technically the only thing is um oh wait which one was should i yeah we'll do this uh so this armor set is from year three if i remember correctly and this is year two and the only difference might be backwards either way. This armor set is different from this one specifically just that this one has less armor. This one has more armor. That's really it. Um, Hunters, I think some of the pieces are cool. I, I use the chest piece quite a bit, specifically this one right here. Uh, the, ar the arms are really cool. That's it. Uh, so if I'm being honest, this one actually should be right here because I use more pieces in this one than this one and this one. So that's a little weird coming from me uh and then we actually get to the actual armor sets that i'm excited to talk about because this one's easily s tier last wish armor set is amazing for hunters uh, there is no bad piece in my opinion if you want to be really technical the boots were, would technically be terrible because uh there's a piece that doesn't change color specifically the like greaves that like yellow or white there does not change color so that is pretty terrible other than that i think every piece is amazing uh, for this armor, we are going to go with uh, B tier, actually. Not that good for hunters. I think the if, if you don't com combine the cloak and the chest piece, it looks really weird. The boots, unfortunately, have pieces that don't change color. The arms are too asymmetrical for me to use. And the helmet is the only piece that I use. So definitely the worst one for me. This one, A tier. I actually use this one a lot more than all of these, specifically for hunters. Helmet carries this armor easily but i also really like the cloak and i also really like the boots the arms and the chest piece i think is the weakest portions from this this one is right here actually right here ass it's definitely ass tier and the reason i have s slash ass is specifically for <sighs> this armor set and we'll i'll explain why and i'll explain why this one's here in a bit but essentially, it's uh, for, for this one, it's going to be specifically ass because it's not only an armor set that shaders really terribly, not and not even that it shaders terribly, but it like the armor has like like a rock type texture that does not change color. But it's also a reskin of an L, an Eververse armor set that we had in was it season uh, season two, which is Curse of Osiris. So 
that's also why it's here because it's a, it's a reskin of an Eververse set, which is still, I will never not hate that because we could have gotten some cool things with that, or with that raid, but no, they gave us the reskin, which is fucking hilarious. So Deepstone Crypt, I would actually put this at B. I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of the pieces for the hunters. I think the cloak had so much potential, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, the helmet is probably the coolest piece from this. The arms are symmetrical, but I'm not a fan of them. The chest piece is boring, and I think the chest, the boots are like okay. So like, I'm just overall, over, like all over the place with this armor set. It's cool, but the fact that I end up using this armor set more than this one is just sad in my opinion. Then we get to this armor set, and I'm gonna put it at like fucking C, bro. It's really bad for hunters. I mean, the helmet's really cool, and that's pretty much it. Um, the boots are terrible. I think the chest piece, you know what? I'll put it right here because the chest piece and the helmet really do carry it. That being said, the cloak is kind of boring. The arms are terrible, and the boots are terrible. The thing that kills me is the fact that, like, you look at the hunter or the titan and warlock, and you immediately, like, oh my god, this is cool. Like, this is a, like a vex theme and then you look at the hunter and it's just like what the fuck happened bro <laughs> like it looks terrible uh ooh, this one this one's gonna be rough because i want to place it like man it's crazy that i'm placing that one right here considering this one was at b last time but the reason i'm putting this one here is because i use the chest piece the helmet and the boots on some occasion like i don't think a lot of the pieces are bad i think the cloak is definitely terrible but the helmet i've used in quite a bit of sets the chest piece i have one of my favorite um celestial nighthawk looks that i have with that chest piece um arms are pretty decent i think the boots are pretty cool as well if you want to go for like an evil look i think the the boots are going to be really cool when the uh the evil wizard set comes out but yeah really weird that i'm placing this one here um this one <clears throat> no it's s tier i i know this is gonna be i know people are gonna be like oh that's that's not right i know it's just it's iconic art it's it's iconic hunter set and i think i said that in the raid tier list the, the previous one but it's just iconic armor for me and i just really don't feel comfortable not putting it up here but if i was being honest i would probably put it right here um just because it's not the best hive theme piece that we got specifically like the hive theme piece in the game because i think that's that's a the taking king set but it's definitely and specifically taking king set when i say that i mean the the ghost of the deep armor set um i still think it looks amazing i think the helmet is really cool i think that cloak is fucking phenomenal the chest pieces are pretty cool i think the boots are pretty cool i think the arms are the only thing that i really don't like so yeah, I'm gonna put it right here just because this is my this is my tier list. Um, eat my ass. But then we get to this armor set. Oh my god! So this is gonna be weird because I know some people are gonna be like wilding about this one, but I'm gonna put this one ah uh, for hunters. I'm gonna place it right here. So I give this armor so much shit. Rightfully, I should because it's fucking terrible. But I've really util started to utilize the chest piece, the arms, and the helmet for a lot of pieces. Specifically, the arms, I combine it with the chest piece for this one right here. And actually, I'll just show you the Celestial Nighthawk look that I have on it because it looks so fucking cool. It's one of my favorite looks that I've made. And should I judge an armor set based on one armor set that I made? Not really, but at the same time, the helmet is really cool. The arms are really cool. And I think the cloak is the only piece that I'm just like, visually, it, 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 it infuriates me visually, but that is pretty much it. Let me know. Oh, no, no, no. We have this one. So the reason why it's right here is because it falls under the category of both of these. It's super cool looking armor. It's just ass that it doesn't change color. That is why I have this tier here because, and that's probably why this one's still going to be here. And this one as well. This one just because all the armor is terrible, but this one, because the armor is pretty cool. It's just the fact that it shaded really terribly. Now, granted, let me, if you guys could change the color of the green, would this not be really cool armor? I personally think it would be really cool armor. So that is why this one is here. It is really cool. Um, if it changed colors, yeah, it would probably be up here. Uh, actually, it'd probably be like right here. 
just because that's how cool this armor set looks to me that it has like so many cool pieces specifically for hunters like like the cloak is really cool the chest piece is really cool the helmet is really cool the arms are pretty cool and i think the boots are super dope as well so like again i think a lot of these uh you know what arms are decent they're not that great but all, every other piece is really really cool so that's why i said i would put this here but because it shaders terribly it's going to be right there so let me know what you guys think hunters i know i'm going to get a lot of shit for this one because there's some pieces where I, people are gonna be like what about this piece and personally this obviously this is really just like my my opinion my taste in armor so if you guys think differently that's super dope just let me know in the comments below and try to be nice about it as for titans i'm gonna just stick to the things that don't really change for me so here 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 and here actually here and here there's no good piece for these two at all, dog. Um, this one, there's definitely some cool pieces to it, which means I would probably put it at A tier for Titans. I think the helmet is really cool. I think the boots are pretty cool. I think the mark is super dope, but the arms and the chest piece, I'm just like, whatever is on. So for me, this is definitely cool because there's a lot of pieces that I actually utilize in a lot of sets. And especially if you wanna go for a Cabal theme, this is gonna be the best Cabal theme set because it doesn't really look like I shouldn't say Cabal theme, but for the Hunters and Warlocks, they don't really feel Cabal. For the Titans, they do feel Cabal. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's actually get into, oh, it's still in like not in order, I think it was, but it's fine. We'll just do it like this. It's fine. So this one, whew, I'm going to put it in B tier. I like the boots. I like the chest piece and I like the helmet, but I don't use them because I don't like them like that. I like I like them visually, I just don't like combining them with anything else. So that's why I say that. Um, Titans for this one, easily S tier. You guys can't even fight me. You guys are literally wearing one of the helmets that one of the bosses has. Easily one of the best armor sets for Titans in the game for Hive. Like you guys cannot even fight me on that one. This one, I would put at b i personally don't use this armor set for the titans like at all not because it's terrible or anything it's just i don't have an interest to use them and i haven't really because like for the hunters i didn't have an interest either but when i started to really try to find a cool set for the arms that's when i came up with the celestial look and the helmet for hunters is really cool for the titans you guys look like like you're the lead of a bar uh, marching band which is why i'm not the biggest fan of it so this one might piss some people off, maybe, we won't see. Last Wish armor set, I would put it at in front of A. There's a lot of problems with this armor set, personally. Um, I don't like the chest piece. The chest piece has this really weird thing in the neck, which I don't like. The mark is actually really, really cool. But then boots and the arms, I think they're cool, but I don't think they're at the level of the hunters, personally. And the helmet, I'm not a fan of at all. Like, I think the left front plate goes out too much. And yeah, I. I don't think it's terrible. You can definitely utilize a lot of the pieces. Hell, I use the arms all the time and the cloak as well, or the mark as well. It's just, there's pieces where I'm just like, I cannot get behind this being at S tier. This armor set, I would probably put it at... Um, I would probably put it right here, actually. I don't use it that much. I'm not the biggest fan of it, personally and it's not that it's bad or anything it's just it i you know what it's bad I, I don't like the helmet i don't like the arms i don't like the chest piece i think that chip, the mark is the only good piece here because the boots as much as i think they look cool i think the regular activity armor from season of the forge just looks way better than that so yeah that's why i put this in s tier just because there's only one good piece actually you know what i probably would do this this would probably be a little bit more fair for titans um this one fuck this is where it gets rough because like okay i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna put it right here because actually i should do that yeah no this should be right here like this because i don't use any of these pieces at all this one i use at least use the fucking mark and this one i use the chest piece and the mark and the, mark, the chess piece set that I made with it looks so fucking amazing that I really can't, I don't feel comfortable not putting this at least at B. Um, this one I would put at 
right there. The Titan pieces I do use quite a bit. I think the boots are really cool. I think the mark is really cool. I think the helm is pretty true, pretty cool. And I think the chest piece kind of boring and the arms, not the biggest fan of it. But the, the sheer fact that I use three pieces from this and actually really enjoy using them is why this is at A tier. And then this one easily, easily S tier. You cannot even fight me on this one. This one is probably one of the best sets to really, really represent Vex. You have the helmet, you have the mark, which is amazing. You have the chest piece, the boots, or not boots, the arms. I think the boots is the weakest portion from this. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I definitely really, 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 really love all of these. It's just some I utilize more than others, let's just say. And then last but not least, Warlocks, we are up next. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, still, a lot of things don't change for me specifically. Let's just go out of the way and do this, 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 and this, and this. Uh, this one being the worst. This one being the coolest. Okay, so reason I haven't explained this one for the Titans and will not explain it for the Warlocks is because I think all of the armor is really amazing and all of them would be at S, but because they shader terribly, they're going to stick down here. This armor set looks terrible for the Warlocks. Same thing for this one. And this one's the first one we're going to explain. I, I like the chest piece quite a bit. I think the boots are really cool. I think the arms are decent. I think the helmet's pretty terrible. And I think the bond is okay. So that's pretty much it. What I, what I think about this, I never use the armor set, which is why it's at C tier. This one, fuck. So I'm probably going to put it at B tier. I don't use the pieces purse. No, no, I can't actually. I just remember the boots. So I use the chest piece and the boots um, for quite a few pieces. And the, the boots specifically I use for a lot of like hive slash like evil war, warlock looking type of thing. It's just type of like, it gives me that vibe, which is why I use it a lot. The chest piece I've used for a, um, an, uh, what's a, what's a, a disciple look, uh, from the raid. I forgot what, that raid specifically about the disciple. There we go. I've made a, a disciple look with that chest piece, which looks pretty cool. The helmet is actually decent. I think the arms are really cool actually too. And then the bonds like whatever. So I like that armor set a lot for, the warlocks i just don't use it as much as i used to specifically like the boots and the chest piece i do use a lot but i don't use them as much as i want to let's just say that this armor is the s tier can't fight me on it it just looks amazing the chest piece is amazing the helmet is amazing i think the arms are pretty cool i think the the fucking bond is pretty cool i think the boots are the only thing that's come kind of disappointed in but like every other piece really carries this armor set for me this one I think is fucking terrible. I never use the armor. I think it's the worst one in the game, but I do use it for the the uh, disciple looks. So I'll put it before that one just because I do at least use the helmet for this. Um, this one is A or S tier. I think all of the pieces are amazing. I think the boots are super dope. I think the chest piece is super dope. I think the helmet is super dope. I think the armors are pretty boring and the bond is whatever's, but I think the chest piece boots and arm or helmet really carry this set for me this one i will put an a tier i think a lot of these pieces are really cool the boots are really cool chest piece is amazing the arms are decent i think the bond and the helmet are the only boring pieces but the chest piece and boot alone really carry this armor set for me but i yeah actually i'll probably put this one down here b i feel like that's a little bit more just because i do use the pieces but i only use the boots really really so for this armor, I'm going to be honest. <sighs> I will put it at A tier because I do end up using the chest piece. No, not the chest piece, the helmet, the arms and the boots quite a bit. I like the chest piece. I think the chest piece is pretty cool, but I don't use it a lot. And the bond is pretty cool as well. So I think the pieces of this one is just way cooler than at least the, the Titans. The Hunters, I use quite a bit of that armor set as well. So. I think they're pretty much even for me personally. And then we get to this armor, which I will be honest. I want to put it at in front of B. Um, not saying it's terrible. I actually do use a few pieces from it. Specifically, the boots I use a lot. The chest piece I've used a few times. The arms are pretty cool. I think the helmet is super dope. I think the bonds, whatever. So I actually probably would put it right here. 
just because I did mention a lot. I'm like, yeah, actually, wait a minute. The helmet, the boot, the arms, <laughs> chest piece. Like I use those those pieces specifically. The helmet and the boots I use a lot. So I actually feel a lot more comfortable putting it in front of a just because I use it quite a bit. And then this one right here easily. I would actually put it right in front of right there. So this might be a little bit of a cop out for some people, but honestly, when it comes to Vex pieces, the Warlocks have one of the best ones just because I think the chess piece is one. The chess piece is one of my favorite Vex themes that I've made in the game. The helmet is really cool. I think the bond is really cool. I think the boots are pretty cool as well. I think the arms are just the only piece where I'm like, eh, whatever. But that's kind of like Warlock thing anyway. So let me know what you guys think. This, These are the tier list. I definitely stand behind some of these. These are really, really cool. Remember, I didn't mention uh, after the Hunters, I didn't mention some of these because some of these are just terrible. Specifically, Crota. Um, I love the armor set. I think all of the armor sets look amazing. It's just the fact that it doesn't shader roll, which is why it's in the it's in both S and S tier because if it shaded well, it would be an S tier. If it, but it doesn't, so that's why it's in the S tier category. These are kind of asked for almost all the classes. This one's asked for all the classes, and then the, all of the other ones I did talk about. So let me know what you guys think. I know I'm gonna have some hot takes for this one, but at least I can actually explain my thought process for each of the classes because that was my biggest annoyance with the last tier list that I was putting pieces where I was like, I don't feel comfortable putting this here because the Hunter set's pretty terrible, but the Warlock and Titan one looks really cool. So that's why I'm gonna put it here. That's what, now that I have an individual one, I can actually explain my thought process on each of the classes. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.